I was asked by super cricket coach and business owner Mike Zabo to do a video about business lessons that come from cricket and I found there were some strong correlations. Hello, happy Tuesday. This is Darren Roberts, Master Trainer at Impact Training Corporation and the Abundance Accelerant. Welcome to the Tuesday Tickle and Tick Show number 67. Today, two business lessons from cricket. I'm here at East, East Torrens District Cricket Club, the home of the Reds, where Coach Mike and myself spend lots of time supporting our lads on the cricket field and it's just about to launch cricket season. And as I said, Coach Mike Zabo, who is the coach for Robbo over many, many years, both indoor with the Pink Panthers Indoor Cricket Club and outdoor, and Mike's a state coach as well. And Mike's also a business owner. He owns Marcelina's Pizza at Enfield. So shout out to Marcelina Pizza at Enfield. Go and check them out if you're in South Australia. And he said, Darren, can you do your next video on business lessons that come from cricket? And two things jumped out at me. The first one was recently, as you might have done as well, I watched The Test. Now the test is a documentary, behind the scenes documentary, where Justin Langer, the new coach of the Australian cricket team, has taken over from the debacle of the bull tampering incidents to regrow the team and recreate the success. And JL has a mantra that is character over cover drive. Character over cover drives. <laughs> now what does that mean if you're not a cricketing buff? Well, out there in the middle of the cricketing oval, a cover drive is a stroke that a player would make to score runs. So what JL is effectively saying is that he will select into his Australian team character over those individuals that are creating great success for themselves or individually, but may have a negative effect on the rest of the team. So how does that relate to you and business? Darren Hardy says you get what you tolerate. So my question is to you, what are you tolerating with your high performers in your group? So Justin Langer, JL, says that he might have a bowler that is taking lots and lots of wickets individually, or a bats person that is making lots and lots of runs individually. But if they don't have the character to build up the entire team, then they're not going to be selected. That character means that they need to, to fit in with the group. They need to have integrity, they need to lift everyone up, they need to be good with the media, they need to be good with the fans, and of course they need to perform on the field as well. But if there's a player that just performs highly on the field but doesn't have the character, then they're not going to be selected. The individual is never bigger than the team is another sporting metaphor that is used. So in business, I see this quite regularly, particularly in sales and business development. You might have a sales gun <laughs> that makes a high percentage of your budgets and targets, but often they're causing damage with the rest of the team or sometimes they're causing damage with your customers. And the challenge is with a business that you see the results of that individual. You see on your P&L statements, you see on your KPI reports, the success that an individual is having. But what you don't often see, it's harder to record and understand, is the negative effects of the rest of the team. So if you have a team with a reasonable size number of staff or those contributing to income generation or new business, would it be worth increasing the rest of the team even if that scun salesperson wasn't in the team? Because I see people get away with it too often. I also see that a gun salesperson or business development person then moves into a leadership role. Now that person might not be able to teach how to do what they do. They might have what is often called the gift of the gab or a natural way of connecting with people, but they may not be able to teach that or replicate that to other people. So my question to you is what are you tolerating? As Darren Hardy says, you get what you tolerate. So do you have an individual that is smashing it but are they causing a detrimental effect? And how do you go about analyzing the effect of that negative influence? Is it your retention is low? Is it that the people aren't performing or feeling they're being acknowledged? What are you recruiting for? You're recruiting for that one gun or you're recruiting for that team player? Now the second part, as I said, I'm here at East Torrens District Cricket Club and got the East Torrens cap on and I was talking to Louds, who's one of the coaches here at East Torrens and coaches Robbo. And we were talking about development of people and I was speaking to him about sales and business development and he was talking about development of his players 
And I said in business, it's quite often that you get your maximum growth as a team from growing the middle group. So you might have the absolute superstars who are performing really, really well. And you might be able to, through training and external training, to grow their, their performance by 5 to 10% because they're right at the top of the tree. But if you can grow the middle group by 20 to 30%, then you're going to get a greater input and outcome. Now that lower third, now maybe they're not, not a great fit for the business, maybe they're not the ones that are performing, but if you can grow them by 10 to 20% then fantastic, but the real growth comes from that middle bit. But again, those people that are superstars, they often get the attention and they often get that extra focus. And Louds was saying exactly the same with sport and cricket, is that the greatest positive growth from the success of a team comes from developing that middle group significantly. Yes, we can increase and develop the top level, that five or 10%, but if we can increase that middle group by 20 to 30%, then that's where you're gonna get that massive growth. So two things for you to consider today. Firstly, do your team have character? And what are you losing if you have a superstar that doesn't have the character and they're negatively influencing the success of the rest of your team? Character over cover drives, or JL also calls it the no dickhead policy. <laughs> do you have that policy in your group at the moment? And secondly, where are you going to get your greatest growth from, from training yourself or external training? And we believe it's largely that second group. If we can grow that by 20 to 30%, grow the top tier by 5 to 10, grow the bottom tier by 10 to 20, then you're going to have some significant success out there with your team and have the team working together really well. If you are looking for some help, I've got nine spots in our free sales success club that are available this week. For those who wanna increase the success of their sales, it's a closed Facebook group we do regular training in. So if you wanna be part of that and be one of those nine, just write success in the comments below and uh, happy to send you the link and give you some questions to play with there. So there you go, Coach Mike Zabo. Thank you for your influence and also to Louds for having a chat about developing your cricket teams as well you guys have a great tuesday lovely weather here in south australia I hope everyone else around australia and the world is doing well we'll see you next tuesday for the tuesday tickle and tick bye for now